may request Ms. Anumeha Raj to present a sapling to Dr. John Rev. <coughs> I now call upon Dr. Madhukar Shukla to give the introduction to Father Arup Center for Ecology and Sustainability and the Oration. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Shukla. Good evening, everyone. Distinguished Chief Guest and the speaker for this oration, Dr. Jandres. Uh, Director XRI, Father E. Abraham SG, Dean Academics, Prasashish Pani, distinguished guests, faculty and staff colleagues, students, and members from the media. It's indeed a privilege to welcome you all for the fifth Dr. Kurin Memorial Oration on Sustainable Development, organized by XRI under the aegis of Father Rupi Center for Ecology and Sustainability, or as it is known, FACES. Uh, before inviting uh, Director Father Abraham to deliver his welcome address. I would like to take a few minutes to introduce the center and say a few, few words about the oration. Uh, FACES was established in January 2012 with a mission to promote practices and policies which will help create an environmentally, socially, and economically sustainable and just society. It's a multidisciplinary center to provide thought leadership to promote policies, practices, and dialogues which have an impact on holistic and sustainable development of society and enterprises. During its short existence, FACES has engaged in primarily in three key activities, namely knowledge creation, so for example, we undertake and sponsor research on and documentation on sustainable programs, enterprise models, and practices. Knowledge dissemination, which is we organize conferences, workshops, roundtables to provide a platform for sharing best practices of sustainable models of development. Uh, uh, since 2000, uh, since that time, we have also been organizing a national conference on social entrepreneurship every year. And knowledge application, which is providing thought leadership through consultancy, training, capacity building programs to various organizations working at the grassroots level. Uh, we decided to institute this annual oration to create a platform to listen to and learn from thought leaders social entrepreneurs, development sector professionals, and policy makers who have made a significant contribution to the idea of an empowered, prosperous, and sustainable society. The oration is to commemorate the memory of Dr. Varghis Kurian. So it's needless to say that there is no better model of sustainable development, both in terms of his life and legacy, than Dr. Kurian. Uh, let me quote his words of what development should mean. Quote, True development must be such that it brings modernization process to the service of majority, namely the rural poor. It must bring to these people not only the pittance which they need for their humble diets, but also the means whereby they can act together to obtain for themselves the benefit of modern science and organization. And in that process, the means whereby they can build for themselves in every village a society which is at peace with itself, concerned with its neighbors, and able to see the bright future for its children." Unquote. In the past, in this oration, to celebrate Dr. Kurian's legacy, we had the privilege of listening to the renowned rural journalist and Maxis Award winner, Mr. P. Sainath, the internationally recognized, international recognized social entrepreneur and founder of Barefoot College, uh, Mr. Bankar Roy, the founder of SEVA, and Padbhushan Awadi, Mrs. Hilabhat, and the founder of chair and chairman of Development Alternative Group, Dr. Ashok Khosla. Continuing in the same tradition, it is indeed an honor to have Dr. Jandres, a noted development economist and social activist, with us today to deliver the fifth Dr. Memori uh, Korean oration. Dr. Jandres is a well-known development economist who has taught at the London School of Economics, Delhi School of Economics, Allahabad University, and currently he teach, teaches off and on in Ranchi University and lives in Ranchi. And he has co-authored a number of books with Nobel laureate Amal Sen, including Hunger and 
public action, India economic development and social opportunity, and uncertain glory, India and its contradiction, and more recently last year, um, which is known as the Cholawala Economics book, Sense of Solidarity. Uh, but more importantly, he is a developing economist who works at the grassroots issues. Besides his academic work, Dr. Grace, Grace is known for his active participation in Indian development issue, uh, developmental issues such as hunger, famine, gender inequality, child health, and education. He, has, he had conceptualized, conceptualized and drafted the first version of Narega, now M. Narega, and has been actively involved in many social movements, including the peace movement, right to food, right to information campaign that led to RTI Act, among others. Uh, Dr. Driz is, uh, came to India in 1979, and since then he has been here. He's an Indian citizen for the last close to two decades. It's a privilege to welcome you, Dr. Driz, and we eagerly look forward to your talk. I would like to now invite Father Ibrahim, Father SG, Director of XRI, to introduce Dr. Dress and to deliver his welcome address. Thank you. <coughs> Dr. John Dress, Chief Guest of this evening function. Dr. Ashish Pani, Dr. Mathakar Shukla, my colleagues, faculty members, senior executives of Tata Steel and various companies in Jamshedpur, faculty staff and students, members of the press and media, ladies and gentlemen. I too join Madhukar and the whole of XLRI to welcome you to this fifth Dr. Varghese Kurian Memorial Oration, and I thank you for your presence this evening. <coughs> it's my pleasure to introduce our distinguished orator of the evening. John Dress was born in 1959 in the ancient town of Louvain, Belgium. His father, Jacques Dress, is one of the world's great economist, econ economic theorists and a celebrated teacher as well. John Dress's father and his wife were also extremely public spirited. And John grew up in, in an atmosphere composed of equal scholarship and service. John Dress studied mathematical economics at the University of Essex. Essex and did his PhD at the Indian Statistical Institute, New Delhi. He has taught at the London School of Economics and the Delhi School of Economics, and is currently visiting professor at Ranchi University, as well as honorary professor at the Delhi School of Economics. He has made wide-ranging contributions to developmental economics and public policy, with special reference to India. His research interests include rural development, social inequality, elementary education, child nutrition, health care, and food security. Besides studying several developmental issues, Dr. Dress had also conceptualized and drafted the first version of National Rural Employment Guarantee Act 2005, popularly known as Narega and the Indian labor law and social security measure that aims to guarantee the right to work and is probably the largest and most ambitious social security and public works program in the world. John Tess has co-authored several books and publications with noted scholars like Nobel laureate Amartya Sen, British economist Nicola Stern, and Nobel laureate in economics and Ang economics Angus Deaton. I read an interesting article about John Trace in the Telegraph written by noted historian Ram Chandra Guha. 
John Dress has a rare and distinctive understanding of the Indian economy and its relations with the social life of ordinary people. He has traveled widely in rural India and done field work of a kind that a few economies have attempted. He often traveled by trains and buses rather than by flights and spends his night in village homes rather than in grand city hotels. I understand he stays in a village but in the outskirts of Ranchi. Teaching less privileged students and working in the poorer parts of, in India were part of his dharma as a developmental economist. It was also consistent with his character, which is that of an ascetic. He does not accept a salary. He, his needs are modest to be met by book royalties and newspaper articles. Meanwhile, from his years during field work in rural India, he has acquired a nearly near native fluency in Hindi. Thank you, Dr. Tess, for graciously accepting our invitation. We are truly privileged to have you address the fifth Dr. Varghese Korean Memorial Oration at XLRA this evening. We look forward to your oration. I would like to share with you briefly on Dr. Kurian's legendary career and his extraordinary leadership skills. XLRA's relation with Dr. Kurian goes back to over 24 years. I personally had an entertaining association with Dr. Kurian and was greatly inspired with his visionary foresight and single-minded determination in executing his vision for the dairy sector and more importantly in helping raise the living standards of millions of rural milk producers across thousands of villages in India. I first met Dr. Kurian here in XLRA when he came to receive the Sir Jahagi Gandhi Medal for Industrial and Social Peace in 1992. He generously helped us financially to build our MDP residence, a generosity XLRA will always remember. I was on the board of governors of Irma and served there for 14 years. Dr. Kurian, on behalf of NDDB, sponsored multiple batches of NDDB executives for management development program at XLRA. Let me share with you a brief history for the purpose-driven life of Dr. Kurian. Dr. Kurian, best known as the father of white revolution in India, is recognized globally as an extraordinary social entrepreneur who envisaged the billion liter idea or Operation Flood, Operation Flood, the world's biggest agricultural development program. Today, India continues to be the largest producer of milk in the world since 1997, thanks to Operation Flood. Milk production in the country increased 276 million tons during 2017-18 from 165 million tons during 2016-17. GCMMR registered an 8% increase in turnover to 29,220 crore in financial year 2017-18, owing to a decline in community prices. Dairy Cooperative Amul is aiming to grow at 20% this financial year to touch a group turnover close to rupees 50,000 crore on the back of growing consumer portfolio and rising demand. Milk production or dairying has become an important secondary source of income to 70 million rural households engaged in agriculture and for 70% of the workforce that comprises are women. Through the spirit of cooperative movement in Indi India has been transformed into a nation which still 1970s was struggling with severe milk scarcity and heavy dependence on import of dairy commodities into the largest milk producing country in the entire world. In the process, 
we have secured self sufficiency for india and the dairy sector propelling our nation towards a position of eminence over the global dairy market the value of milk produced over 4 lakh crores is more than the total value of paddy and wheat produced in this country contributing around 6% of the national gdp and 26% to the agricultural gdp this underlines the importance of dairy sector within the rural economy in this context one must acknowledge the immense contribution of dr varghese kurian for his far sighted vision in helping kick start a cooperative milk movement in india and also shaping a forward integration business model by helping create amul as india's largest single food brand born on november 26 1921 to the syrian christian family in kori kalikad now kori kod kerala dr kurian completed his degree in bsc physics from loyola college chennai and is engineering from gindi engineering college he started his career in tata iron and steel company right here now known as tata steel jamshedpur as a graduate apprentice trainee in 1948 he went to united states on a government of india scholarship and earned a master of science in mechanical engineering with distinction from michigan state university the same year returning to india in 1949 by sheer quirk of fate he joined as an officer of the dairy division in anand in khaira district of gujarat it was here that he noticed the exploitation of milk producing farmers by the large business lobby and found his true calling in life to bring about economic and social development in the country and to work for the people he joined forces with tribhuvan das patel a man of great integrity and commitment to start the milk cooperative movement in the region an initiative which over time only became the gujarat cooperative milk marketing federation popularly known as amul and also created a model which got replicated across india and transformed the lives of millions of small producers today more than 15 million milk producers are members of the 144500 dairy cooperative societies across the country the 18 member union of gcmm has a farmer strength of more than 36 lakhs across 18700 villages of gujarat and is procuring on an average 211 lakhs liters of milk per day which is 20% higher than the previous year kurian's creation of community owned cooperatives empowered millions of rural families most of whom were landless and small farmers in india it is important to note that amul federation passes on 80 to 85% of consumer rupees back to the milk producer members thus encouraging them to produce more milk on asking him what made him settle down in a small village like anand when he had a masters degree from a us university he replied with a gentle smile true development is the development of men and women and this idea made me stay in this little town for more than 50 years as an employee of farmers and i was never able to give up, give this up for what many call a better life i hope to enthuse young women and men to adopt my passion as theirs in his service over 50 years dr kurian was a recipient of several distinguished national and international awards to name a few Padma Shri 65, Padma Bhushan 66, Krishi Ratna 86, and the Padma Vibhushan 1999, the Ram Ramon Maxasai Award for Community Leadership 1963, Excellence and uh, Community uh, Leadership Excellence in 2001, and several other awards. After lifetime of struggle and dedication towards serving the nation. Dr. Varghese Kurian breathed his last on 9 September 2012 after a brief illness in Anand. 
We decided to institute this annual oration to commemorate Dr. Kurian's legacy because of his life and work exemplifies the model for a responsible management leader, combining business skills with the larger good of the society and nation building. As Dr. R. M. Mashelkar, President of Global Research Alliance, a network of publicly funded R&D institutes and a former Director General of CSIR, had once described him. Amongst the management leaders in India, Kurian was not only an icon, but he was a miracle. The sunshine that Dr. Kurian brought in the lives of millions in the country will always be remembered with gratitude. Also, in these days of declining corporate governance, Amul has had only three managing directors since its inception 37 years ago. Few brands in India have managed to retain their unique DNA like Amul and more importantly, transmit its unique value system across the organization and cooperatives almost four decades. I would like to end by stating Dr. Kurian's philosophy of life. To do as much good as I can to those who are less fortunate. But I would like to live my life as a common man. I guess it would also be apt to quote from a recent book of John Dress, Sense and Solidarity. I quote, in India as elsewhere, the privileged tend to nurture the illusion that they deserve what they have. This illusion, however, evaporates with even casual introspection. Many of us have been born privileged as an accident of birth or chance. Hence, if our situation is more a matter of chance than personal merit, then surely the privileged have a responsibility towards those who are left behind or underprivileged. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all for, to this momentous event. Thank you, and may God bless you all. Thank you, Father. We shall now play a short video as a tribute to Dr. Gurian.